Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, we have a distillery review of Penelope Bourbons. One that, I don't know about you, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one because we don't have Penelope distributed in Indiana just yet. Uh, they're coming to Indiana sometime in, in April, so I was told. So um, when we find Penelope, it's like when we're, when we're traveling to do barrel picks or when we're going over to Illinois at, at Benny's and stuff, but um, yeah, we don't we don't see this in Indiana just yet. No, no. And, and what bottles we have been able to accumulate, we've we've gotten on our trips and things yeah. that we've done. Uh, we don't really have them here per se. But thankful to the guys at Penelope, they did they did hook us up with a couple of these bottles up here. So we greatly appreciate that. Yeah. And what's amazing, Trent, to me is, you know, they got a small space, small amount of people they work with, you know, but yet they're doing great things. Yeah, I think they said that their facility is like 1,200 square feet, and they got out like 100,000 cases of, of stuff last year, which is just mind-blowing to, just, to see it's the scale just of what they have going on. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah th thank you to, to Mike and Danny and Randy over at Penelope for hooking us up with some of these. We would yeah. not have been able to to, no. to come across these in our area, so we were, we were no. very appreciative. Thank you so much. And, and, and as always, though, in our review, regardless of who gives us what, we're going to tell you how it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll be honest, that's for sure. So what I got on the bar top for you, buddy, is we got four of their core releases, which is their entry level, which is an 80 proofer, the brand new Architect 5. So in their Architect series, oh. this is the brand new number five. We have their barrel strength product and their barrel strength toasted product. Now, over here, this is their, their, their fresh bottle out of their Cooper series. The rosé cast, so we get to try that today too, and that was supplied by the guys. So I'm kind of excited about that. That's pretty cool. I got some stuff to say about this bottle. I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but I have some stuff to I say about it. I know what you're so gonna say. It's gonna be fun. All right, all right. Well, let's get to it, buddy. Let's start on the, on our left here. All right, let's start with the 80 proofer. Now, if I'm not mistaken, on the back label, trend it says it's been aged for at least 26 months, so it's not yep. very old. Yep. Doesn't have a lot of age to it, right? Yeah. However, I will say that it's non-chill filter. Oh, I love a good non-chill filter. And I filter. like that. And as far as I know, everything on the bar top is non-chill filtered, but I could not find anything on the Architect number five. So I don't know if the Architect series is non-chill filtered. I didn't see it anywhere. If anybody knows that or if I'm incorrect, please let us know. But all the rest of them, Trenton, are non-chill filtered, which I'm a big fan of. Cool, yeah. Yeah, this is like 32 bucks. Okay. All right. 32 bucks, 80 proof. And I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong if you know this, but I believe everything on here is MGP sourced. Yes, thank you. Everything's, so. M M everything's MGP sourced. And what, what more I got for you, Trenton, is it's all four grain mash bill. Okay. okay, I didn't know that. So roughly everything is close to the same. at 75% corn, 14% wheat, 7% rye, and the rest filled in with malted barley. Now that might move just a tick. You remember that mash bill? I did. Well, look at you, nice. I, I did. I didn't. I have no cheat sheets up here, no. That I remember that. I'm surprised. So now some of it moved just one digit or another, uh -huh. but all of it's four grain, all of it's all of it's blended, and all of it's MGP juice. Sweet. Yeah. I I <laughs> I don't want to go about ripping this apart or anything because it, it says right here it's 26 months. Right. So on the nose, you're not going to get anything complex. You're not going to yes. get anything correct heavy. Yes. But what is on the nose, I get it's it's light, but I get some some oak and a little bit of like a honey or yeah. some kind of sweetness, maybe yeah. some orange or lemon. Yeah, there, there is something on there. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm I'm thinking like a more like a lemon type thing Fledge. with some grainy notes on the nose. <laughs> I, I, I'm not I'm not lying with you. I agree with that. One more quick thing, Trenton, as you're taking a sip there. One thing I absolutely do love about Penelope is they're very out front and forward with their information. They have a lot of stuff on the labels. Yeah. But they even have more on their website. You can look up every one of these and find out oh, the, cool. the exact mash bill. All, whatever information you want to know, it's out It's out front for everybody to see. I like that transparency. That's cool. Yeah, absolutely appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah. I got to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was maybe expecting something a little bit more oaky tan and oaky tannin kind of thing mm -hmm. but the the citrus or, or whatever the the sweetness is shines pretty pretty nicely through the through that oak yeah i i have to agree with you 100 percent on that 
you don't get and for a young bourbon you don't get that 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 real bad tannin thing going yeah. on the, that you don't get that however it is a bit grainy on the palate yeah so you're going to get some grain on the palate but you're going to enter in a little bit of some sweetness there maybe a little vanilla that seems to me like there's a little bit of citrus on the palate too yeah so it's not complex by any means but also it's 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 absolutely you know not harsh yeah, you know it's pretty decent. 32, 30 bucks. I also say, Trent, I think it's a pretty good bottle for somebody just beginning. I'm glad you, I'm glad you said that. With bourbon, I was in my head when you said the price. I was thinking like, why why might I go for something like this when you have old Forester options and wild turkey options? Yep. I get for it. me, if if you're wanting to explore more of a, a small batch craft distillery kind of thing, um, and if you want to get into a lower proof four grain. I think this would be a good option. It is it is grainy. So if you're not a big fan of those whiskeys and bourbons that shine through with quite a bit of grain, I don't know that this would be for you. But the flavors for the for the age of it, I think, are pretty good. Yeah. And the price is yeah. pretty good, too. I think it's a pretty fair option. And, yeah. and mainly for me because it doesn't have a lot of heavy, deep, dark-type flavors or, you know, like you said, the tannins yeah. and stuff in there, too. I think it's a pretty good option for those who are beginning, that's for sure. Let's move on down the line here, bud. We got the Penelope Architect number five now they got a big scientific thing going on there and and, and you know me probably more than most everybody you know I, I don't get i don't get knee deep into you know some of these whiskeys and bourbons and exactly how they're made and this is what they did next and next and next i want to know the label i kind of want to know the mash bill the proof and then i want to taste it and see if it's good or bad fair, right fair i enough. mean that's kind of me i mean we don't we don't dig into that too deeply. Oh, I do. I study these things on the weekends well, for fun. Well, speak you know? up then, my brother, because <laughs> I don't. The best I can give you here is they've got uh, a French fellow that I could never even pronounce his name if I wanted to that's helping them, you know, with French oak staves, basically. And, and somehow, scientifically, they're putting these French oak staves together as a finish process to make different flavor profiles for the different series of the architect. All right? So there's, there's some with low intensity French oak, you know, and there's some with high intensity. Yeah. So they, they put different combinations of those French oak staves for a finish process, and big bad boom, you get yourself an architect. Well, you know, I... How's I, that? <laughs> I'm just going to go right out here and say it. I'm not the brightest green in the box, all right? <laughs> they got this, and I'll, I'll see if I can find a screenshot to put up right now so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. But they have this, this cool... Uh, grid matrix thing on the back that'll kind of show you where different pat, uh, different flavor profiles are at. A couple on here I gotta say confuse me. Like I said, I'm not the Bryce Cram. Oak integration. I would think that that would always be kind of at the top because this was literally in an oak barrel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what persistency means, but this is on top of the persistency chart here. Oh, okay. And oak okay. perception on nose. I mean, that's that is spot on. I think that's okay. the first thing I can't read that without like, my yeah. glasses. So you're you're on that. Well, I always got these on, you know. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, so that's the first thing on here where I'm like, yeah, that well, that tracks. I like the nose. The nose is nice. The nose is super nice. It's kind of syrupy. It lends a little bit to the maple. Oh, yeah, I was thinking like a waffle. You know, yeah, yeah, it does. I really like the I really like the nose. Mm. How much are these usually? Do you know. That's 104 proof, and they're usually around 65 bucks. I'm glad you didn't say 104 dollars. <laughs> no, I haven't mentioned the proof yet, so I apologize. It's 104 proof, about 65 bucks. Okay, I kind of like it. Um, I get some French toasty kind of kind of flavor profile to it a little bit. Um, there is some there is some char there. There's yeah. some obvious char on the palate, but yeah. not to an extreme. I, I, I will say I, I do enjoy this. I haven't tried one through four, or should I say we don't have one through four down here. You have two. I think that's it. Yeah. So what what we've tried of this has been pretty minimal. We've gotten a couple samples from from Nate over at what, Everyday Drinker. Everyday Drinker. Um, samples one through three, and, and those were pretty good. I don't know mm -hmm. that I can measure them up to this because I just it's been a while. Yeah. But for. 65 bucks and I think it's the, pretty solid for what what goes on in this bottle. I think it's good I find a little bit of creaminess in the Very. in the in the palate too yeah. I don't know if that has anything to do with the French oak staves or not, but I think it's it's a pretty uh, viscous Do you think that there's so, a difference between creamy and oily? Mm, when I get when I, I think of oily I get like 
it gets like back in my cheeks. Yeah. The creamy is like more up front. Yeah. For me, if I say creamy, it's basically the viscosity portion like of it. Like you're drinking 2% Oily, milk. I think, is more what you're talking about. Okay. Like 2% milk. What? Not, right? That's creamy, isn't it? I guess. I can't tell the difference. Hey, honey, is 2% milk, milk creamy? Just thicker. Hot, hot <laughs> take, there is no difference between the thickness of different milk percentages. I'm just going to say it. I'm sure. <laughs> Never, I'm just, when's the last time you had whole milk? No, I don't think I've ever had whole milk. <laughs> Am I right? He needs to try some whole milk. Okay, that's next. That's no, next. We're, not, we're not blinding milk <laughs> on this. Oh, please, no. If you do, at least put All some right. chocolate or strawberry. we got to move on. We'll never get done. <laughs> Let's go to the barrel strength, okay? Can we do that, please? Let's go to the I barrel guess. strength. Sure, sure. All right. So the barrel strength is 112 proof, okay, buddy? It's batch 14. It's another one roughly around 65 bucks, 64 $65, $65, somewhere in that general range. Now, this one here, if my mind's on the right track, this one here is, is aged minimum four years. I'll say, like, when, when you look at a company like Nulu who's doing finished things, and even their barrel strengths at Nulu are up there in the price, like mm -hmm. almost almost crossing the hundred dollar mark. I'll say with Penelope's prices, I'm I'm pretty impressed. Like mm -hmm. four years, and I know sourcing sourcing juice isn't cheap as it is, mm -hmm. um, but for sixty five bucks, I mean that's a great. That's point. a pretty pretty solid price. I that's think a great I haven't point. tried it yet, but yeah, no, that's a great point, Trent. I'm getting like maple and honey on a lot of these yeah. juices. Is that yeah, just me? I, it might be the four grain, Trent. No, oh, it's not right. just you. Okay. No, it's not. I feel like normally it's just me. I got weird stuff going on a lot. That's good. It's pretty good, dude. You can tell that it's a young bourbon. I'll say that. I'm, I'm just trying to get that last bit down. And that's the first thing I was going to say. Yeah. But I was going to, I was going to proceed after that to say there's still some really nice, yeah. nice notes in there. There's some brown sugar. There's some. I wouldn't really say caramel. Would you say caramel, Trenton? There's some brown, is, scooter, like brown sugar. There's scooter? some brown scooters in there too, as well. Yes. <laughs> some, I, I, I get some some chocolate in there a little bit too. If it's caramel, it's like a burnt situation, a yeah. little bitter. But it, yeah. it's not off putting. I don't think no. it's up. It's up front, but it's not mm -hmm. off putting. I don't mm -hmm. think. Mom, you want some? No. The only tick, <laughs> the only tick I'll give that one. Is Trenton is 100% right. You can tell there's a little bit of there's a little bit of like a tannin issue in there, yeah. something like that. Just 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 an age issue. That's all. Otherwise, I think it's a solid bottle. I'd be interested to try this at price. like a five or a six year. See how that. I think that'd be solid, like almost perfect at, without, that, at that age. Without question. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. This is their barrel strength toasted. Love me a good toast. I know. So I'm kind of looking forward to this one, Trent. Now this one bumps up in price. These last two, but it's still like eighty bucks. So it's not like okay. you know it's over outrageous. The, not over the top. It's 110 proof, and I apologize. I don't remember the batch we are looking at. That's nice. I'm batch 22-003, and again, four years. Okay. But it does have an addition of, of toasted finish. All right, you need to tell me what you get on the nose. I don't know if I'm going crazy or what, but... Sweet tarts. <laughs> you lost me on well, the sweet tarts. I could flip a coin with you. It's usually sweet tarts. <laughs> I just thought I'd go with it. <laughs> I guess a lot of times I say, tell me what you get. It's like staples or Sharpies. Or <laughs> I know, that's what I did. Something weird. There's rye bread in there. You think so? Yeah, a little bit of rye bread. A little bit of maple. Okay, maple, that's what I was looking yeah. for. Something something sweeter, like a, yeah. a nice, deep, dark brown sugar mm -hmm. thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got some, some darker notes. Really nice. Oh, okay. Can I like that. It, it's very reminiscent of this. I like I'll, that. I'll say, but yes. there, you can tell that there's like a toastiness in there. But that toastiness kind of helps to really drown out that little bit of tannin that you get from this bottle. Yep. Because if I'm not mistaken, they just they just take their barrel strength product at four years and then put the addition of the toasted. Okay. So I love there's a lot of there's a lot of maple in there. There's some there's a little bit of smokiness to it too that I really like. Uh like if you were like if you were sitting by a campfire kind of smoke? 
Mm, that's what I get. Mm. Not that bad. Not like a peated scotch or anything like that. Very subtle. I get that though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A little subtle. There's a little bit of leather in there, but the sweetness is a lot of maple. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I like that. This one. is this is definitely my favorite so far, I think. I think so too, so yeah. far. But we got this last one. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> oh, I forgot what you <laughs> The the cork on this is a, is a little different. I almost punched myself in the face on accident trying to get this cork out. It's glass. We had to get like a one of these padded do doodads that you get like pickle jar lids off with yeah, to get this cork off. It's a little it's a little tight. You you like spilled some stuff yes. on yourself getting the cork off. I yeah. almost bonked myself in the nose. Yeah, last night when I was trying to get this show together, I I, I worked and worked to get that thing off. You know, it's a little tight. I it's got a little tight. finally as well. Whoosh, got it went over my sweatshirt. It was a shame. We almost started the show me having a bloody nose. <laughs> it's a little tight. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's a little bit difficult. We'll give you that. All right, buddy. Here you go. This is a uh, 94 proof. This is batch five, and this is going to be roughly around 80 dollars from what I found. Now this is given to us, so yeah, that's what I found. It's going to be roughly about 80 bucks. Okay. Is it uh, two? This this uh, Fred Minnick reviewed this, and it got the first 90 oh, score of this year for him. For him, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm I, I was interested good. to try this right when I saw him put that video out, yeah. but I, I didn't. I, didn't I think wasn't aware of it. Now yeah. I'm going to look at it yeah. just to see. This is uh, finished in rosé wine. Now, you told me that's a wine, right? Because I don't drink wine. I think so. Rosé? Yeah. Yeah. My wife is shaking her head yes. It's a rosé wine cask. That's a sweet nose. That's be that's neat. If I was, like, in a garden somewhere, that's what I imagine. It is it somewhat smell. floral. Yeah. And, like, yeah. Almost like a my... strawberry note. Light yeah. strawberry. Yeah. Like those Werther's, uh, I don't think they make them anymore. The strawberry and cream. Yes. Ones? Yeah. Yes. Obviously, completely different than everything else. Mm. That's a. I okay. Mm. That's a job well done. I think. What's the proof? Don't rush me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> ninety-four proof. Oh, okay. That's yeah, a nice it comes proof. in at ninety-four. Wow. Oh, wow. I've never had rosé wine, or I don't think, Trenton, I've ever had a bourbon finished in rosé wine cask. I, I haven't either. But I'm digging it. I've had like Moscatel and red red Cabernets mm -hmm. and all that thing, but... I can see what Fred Minnick liked about this, that's for sure. Now I'm curious if our notes are going to even somewhat even relate to what he says. <laughs> yeah, my notes are always bonkers anyways, I'm not worried about it. Um, I'll say for the, the proof, I'm glad that... Mm -hmm. I was worried that maybe the the rosé would have overpowered the the bourbon oh. notes that you get, but it's like almost perfectly perfect. balanced. Um, yeah, he is right. That is a perfect finish on a bourbon right there. To me, I'm still I'm, the nose is carrying over into the palate. It's a little bit floral. Yeah, but I'm loving that strawberries and cream note that you mentioned. So now I can't get it out of my head. So there's a there's a beautiful strawberries and cream there with some vanilla flowing through there. I don't get any deep brown sugar or nothing like that. It's all on those lighter sweet tones. I almost get like a hint of caramel at the end, and that's like that's Could a be. nice way to polish it Could off. Be, yeah. It to me, I think it the the mouth feels nice. Mm. Uh, this is what I would describe as like an oily feel mm -hmm. as com mm -hmm. compared mm -hmm. to like a creaminess of this one because I'm getting it like up in my cheeks, like right yeah. in here. I can see that. It's a little zippy. I can see that. Yeah. Really, really nice. If you see that around anywhere, I think that's pretty good. All right, Trent. Let's bring this to a close. What's your What's your favorite to your worst? I honestly think I would put them... In order. In order. Really. Yeah. I think I would too, but I think I would prefer this architect over the barrel strength. That doesn't surprise me because you really enjoy those oak notes from like wild turkey and those things. And I like, I, I like a good char note. You're right about yeah. that. Yeah. And I don't mind an oak note, but I prefer it if it's a little bit more muted. I think with with the five, I don't know about other builds, but with either. the five, I feel like it's it's pretty oaky. For me, um, not not an off putting way, just in a way that I I would prefer something like the barrel strength a little okay. bit better. But yeah, I get that. I'd still buy it. I get that. And of course, we're putting the eighty proof in last place. Yeah. But you know, for thirty dollar bourbon for somebody that's beginning, like Trenton said, for a four grain, a lot of lighter sweet and sweet notes there. Yeah. Can't complain, really. It, it, once again, I, what a solid effort from the guys yeah. at Penelope, really. There's pluses and minus to everything, you know, obviously. But I think all in all, 
a great job and I think they're pricing things uh, I'm never going to say reasonable anymore because is anything priced reasonably anymore? <laughs> you know, let's just say, you know, they're pricing it fairly. Yeah. To the best of my ability that I can say that. But I think their stuff's pretty hot, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Hey, that's all we got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.